A lot of people who work with Fresno Unified are on pins and needles, wondering if they'll have a job next year or the same job uh, they have right now. Up to 40 million people must be, uh, 40 million dollars rather, must be shaved from that budget. Kim Stevens shows us what the district plans are right now and why district officials say this will not create a crisis in the classroom. Hello and welcome to this meeting of the Board of Education. On this is a tense time at Fresno Unified. Between now and the end of April, the district must find ways to save a lot of money, up to $40 million. The community is invited to share input at this and the next two school board meetings before a final decision is made in June. This is the first thing the district wants our community to know. So school site budgets are not being cut at all. People will not be cut, Henry tells me, but positions yeah, will. HR is always going to work to put you into an equivalent position first. If there's no equivalent position available, then they they look for the next, you know, lower position or even higher position in some. And yes, paychecks will change depending on those new positions. Here's why the district is in this mess, otherwise called a state of contraction. One, Sacramento. It's unknown how much money the district will receive from our state government, which is said to be in a budget deficit. Two, the deal the district recently made with the Fresno Teachers Association to increase pay and benefits. And this isn't a point of blame, but we knew when we made our deal with FTA in the fall that that would necessitate about 30 to $40 million of cuts. And that's not a point of blame, like I said, that is just, that's what we went into it knowing. Three, average daily attendance is down. I think people across the nation are dealing with lower attendance after the pandemic. We were, it was ingrained in us that if you even have a sniffle, don't send your kid to school. That's not the reality of where we are anymore, thank God. And so in all reality, you should be sending to your child to school. Schools get money from the state for every child sitting in a desk. The more open desks, the less money from the state. And that ties to reason number four, lower enrollment by over a thousand students who Henry says either moved to a different district, are homeschooled or moved out of Fresno. So each department is asked to shave from their budget. We understand the district is currently going through a process of cutting budgets. However, we also realize that in the past two years, there have been many positions upgraded. To that, Henry says, Departments are being asked to cut at least 7% of their budget for the next year, all departments. Um, and again, that goes to that top-heavy idea, right? to keep the cuts as far away from the classroom as possible. But some of the cuts will directly affect the classroom in that each year, 75 teachers on special assignment called TSAs will return back to the classroom instead of working on projects or curriculum. The ask today is for the board to reconsider putting the already few experts in the we have in the special education and autism field back into the classroom as it will leave students and teachers with extensive needs without support. Other projected cuts could come from classified personnel, office and support staff, teachers aides, who would be bumped into other positions. You know, in LA or some of these other um, large school districts, they're now facing real layoffs. They're not just talking about moving people around, they're talking about people losing their jobs, losing their livelihoods. Um, and we're very blessed to not be in that, that space. Textbook reserves could be cut. And it does not impact our ability to meet our legal requirements to ensure that our students have up-to-date, important, state standard-focused curriculum and textbooks in front of them. And finally, cutting some of the designated school funding is a strong possibility. There are about 40 schools in the district right now in this category. The children get 30 minutes of added instruction a day. Teachers get paid for additional hours of professional learning called PL. The district says over the last 10 years, this does not appear to be showing a return on the investment. We have heard clearly from our teachers and we're listening that in this last bargaining cycle, they were very clear that they did not want additional PL 
professional learning. They wanted to cut professional learning altogether. So it is suggested this be phased out over the next few years. Nothing is set except this one thing. Nothing will be cut from our school site budgets. In Fresno, we are adjourning to closed session. Kim Stevens, Fox 26 News. Again, here's the timeline. Between now and the end of April, each department will be looking at areas to cut. May is when the governor revises the state budget so the school district knows how much money it will be getting. Then the final decision will come at the June school board meeting. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.